entrance of the word, give it light and understanding unto the simple. And we pray, Lord, that as your word comes, we pray that it may give light into our lives, that it may give understanding into our hearts. Lord, our hearts are open to receive you this afternoon. We are ready to hear from you. We pray, my Father, for your servant, Job, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for your understanding. We pray for your grace. May you sharpen his lips of clay. And Lord, whatever is going to speak, let it that be which was meant for us this day. We give you glory and we honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's appreciate the Lord. Salimia jirani yako mwambie nimebarikiwa siku ya leo. I am blessed today. Bwana asifiwe. Eh sijui umesalimia wazee gani? Tatu ni hata wakwambie mimi nimebarikiwa. Mimi nimebarikiwa. Ah Kwa Matthew chapter 10 verses 1 I'm blessed also this morning Nimebarikiwa sana kuwa maali hapa Kwa wasio nijua na ito job Matthew 10 41 And when he had called his 12 disciples to him he who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet the one. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man the one. May you receive the reward of the Lord. Amen. Uh, the previous verse, the verse 40. Verse 40. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. May you receive the Lord today. Amen. May you receive from him who sent me. Amen. I want us to talk today about receiving from the Lord. Kupokea kutoka kwa Wana Kupokea kutoka kwa buwana. So, when we come to the church, Tunapokuja kaisani, every, Everyone, Kila kukuja wetu, We have something we want to receive from the Lord. Tukuna kitu wakacho tunaitaji kupokea kutoka kwa buwana. We have an expectation. Tukuna tarajio. I'm sure no one just wakes up to come to church. Nina wakika huna yote yu na bebu wa mkatu na kuju kukisani. Asaruti. I'm sure before you get from your house to come to church or to the house of the Lord, there is something you are expecting to receive from the Lord. There is a reward you are expecting to get from the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want us to learn for a very short uh, period of time about what to do to receive from the Lord. All our requirement for us to receive from the Lord. Bwana Yesu wa Sifio. Tell your neighbor receiving from the Lord. Receiving from the Lord. The first thing you need to do is to purpose. For you to receive, you need to purpose in your heart. Purpose in your heart that indeed I will receive this. Purpose that I want this. Let's read in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 4, verses 8. 
Second Kings chapter 4 from verses 8. Now I'll just catch the story because it runs from, from verse 8 to 17. It says, Now it happens one day that Elisha went to Shunem, where there was a notable woman, and she persuaded him to eat some food. So it was as often as he passed by, he would turn in there to eat some food. Na huko kulikuwa na mwanamke mmoja mwenye cheo naye akamshurutisha aje ale chakula ikawa kila alipopita njia ile huingia kula chakula and she said to her husband look now i know that this is a holy man of god who passes by us regularly yule mwanamke akamwambia mumewe tazama mimi naona ya kuwa mtu huyu afitaye kwetu mara kwa mara Please let us make a small upper room on the wall and let us put a bed for him there and a table and a chair and a lampstand so it will be whenever he comes to us he can turn in there. Na kuomba, tumfanyia chumba kidogo ukutani, na nani yake tumweke kitanda, na meza, na kiti, na kinana chata, na itakuwa atunjiapo, ataingia humo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That, uh, that book runs until verses 17 or 20, and you know what happened to this woman. Kwa hivyo yu hadithi naendelea na tunajua kine kilicho mtendekea mwana hume huyu. Now this woman from the from verse 9, this woman firstly acknowledged this is a man, a man of God. And she purposed that let us uh, make a room for this man of God. Of course, if you see a man of God, you expect something from him. When you see an anointed man of God, you believe that you want to be part of that anointing. Now this Shunamite woman purpose to build a man, a man of God in Isharu. And when we continue reading, we see the events that unfolded. We see this Shunemite woman had no child. But because of the purpose of welcoming the man of God, in the process, this woman received a baby boy. She received a reward. She received from the Lord. And what does the Bible tell us about purpose? Let us read in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verses 23. Now, purpose is not just something you say with your mouth. It entails doing it from the heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see that uh, next verse 24. Uh, Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the word, the word of in heaven, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, purpose does not go hard in hand with pretenders. Tell your neighbor purpose from your heart to receive. Purpose from the heart to receive. Now the funny thing about purpose is that why you are purposing to do something. 
Pia also have the understanding. Pia lazima uwe na ufahamu. You must have the understanding of what you want. Lazima uwe na ufahamu wa kile ambacho unataka. What does Proverbs 25 tell us? Proverbs 20 verse 5. Methani 25 inatuambia nini? Proverbs chapter 20 verse 5. Methani 20 mstari wa 5. The, the purpose of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws from them. Mashauri ya moyoni ni kama kilindi, lakini mtu mwenye ufahamu atayateka. Yes, the understanding. Dio ufahamu. The one with the understanding of the purpose is the one who will receive it. Yule ambaye ana ufahamu wa kusudio ndiye atakaye pokea. Purpose goes hand in hand with understanding why you are purposing for that thing to happen. Kwa hivyo kusudio inaenda sambamba na ufahamu. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amina. In the book of Matthew chapter 5 uh, verse 6 it encourages us that happy are those who hunger and thirst. Kwa hivyo katika Mathayo tano sita inasema hevi wenye jaa Now the, the purpose for you to receive from the Lord Ili wenye kupokea kutoka kwa buwana Your purpose must come with that and hunger Kusugiro na kwa lazima liche na jaa And thirst Na kiu For you to receive it Ili wenye upokea We see also in the same book of uh, Matthew chapter 9 from verse 21 We see the Woman who was having a problem of bleeding for 12 years. Pia tunaona katika matayo ayuno manamuke ambaye nito kwa damu kwa miyaka kuminadimu. Now this woman, this woman said, she said to herself, if I only touch his glove, I will be here. This is a determined woman. Kwa hivyo wei manamuke akasena mwamba, iki watu nitaguza pindo na kuwa yake, nitapona. Hili hili kwa ni kusudio. This is a woman who has proposed that I want to receive from the Lord. I want to receive my healing. Tell your neighbor, do you want to receive from the Lord? Purpose to receive from him. Now the second thing about receiving from the Lord is prepared preparing yourself now, the process of the preparing this, this part about preparing is a process when is hallelujah we have seen a lot of people who did not prepare themselves enough that when the Lord blessed them they ran away from him they got whatever they, were, they wanted from the Lord but because they lacked enough preparation of the blessing of the Lord they received and ran away from them when I yes was severe they did not create enough vacuum in their hearts. They did not make their hearts in order for them to, to receive and stay in the Lord. Now, what does uh, Exodus 25 verse 5 tell us about uh, the Moses and the children of Israel? Kwa hivyo katika kutoka tano, ishiri na tano. Exodus 25 verse 8. Uh, kutoka ishiri na tano. Now, then have them make a sanctuary for me, and I will dwell among them. Katika kutoka ishiri na tano, mstari wa nane. Neno na mimo ninasema ya kwamba. Now, na wanifanyia patakatifu ili nipate kukaka tiao. Verses 22 of that same chapter. 
There above the cover between the two cherubim that are over the ark of the covenant, no, I will meet with you and give you all my commands for the Israel. Now we see this is God instructing Moses. So him to tell the children of Israel to be prepared to receive him. To make a place for him to come and dwell. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, is your heart clean to receive the Lord? When the Lord comes right now, will he find a dwelling place in your heart? Hallelujah. Isaiah 54, verse 2, it encourages to enlarge our territories. Because for the Lord to bless you, he must have somewhere where he will occupy his space. He will work somewhere where the, his blessings will, will dwell. And lie the place of your tent, stretch your tent curtains wide, do not hold back, lengthen your cords, strengthen your steps. Now, as a Christian, how the light is your faith in God? How in life is your commitment to God? How stretched is your faith and your heart and your mind to the Lord? Hallelujah. We, we can also prepare ourselves to receive from the Lord through believing. Mark 11 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for uh, in prayer, believe that you, you have received it and it will be yours. Now, the step here is for you to believe. The preparation you have here is to believe. Uh, we are always told here by the servants of the Lord of where your treasure is where your heart is, where your treasure is. Yes, one has to feel. You will never receive from where you don't believe. One has to feel. Tell your neighbor, you will never receive where you don't believe. One has to feel. But you don't receive because you don't believe. The, the third thing is about going deep in prayers. Going deep in prayers. For you to receive uh, something from the Lord. For you to receive spiritually. You need to go spiritually. And going spiritually entails prayers. 
na hivyo kuingia kiroho lazima uwe mtu wa kuomba Mathayo 7:7 it tells us about us that kuhusu kuomba na utapewa and you will never receive what you not ask kwa hivyo hautakuokea chochote ambacho haujauliza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Yes we know the Bible talks about uh, God knows our our requirement of him even before we ask. Ndio tunachoa Biblia inasema kwamba Mungu anajua mahitaji yetu hata kabla tuombe. But he also tells us a uh, uh, pray without ceasing. Na pia bado anatuambia kwamba ombeni bila kukoma. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. For whatever you pray or whatever you ask is what you will find. Bwana asifiwe. Is anyone getting blessed in the house? Just wave to the Lord. Amen. Amen. The second thing about uh, prayer you must ask in faith. Jambo lingine kuhusu maombi lazima uulize kwa imani. James 1 verse 5 to 6. Yakobo 1:5 hadi 6. Ask in faith. Uulize kwa imani. You know, faith faith is a is a is something that we shall take for granted. Imani ni kitu ambacho tunachukulia kimza. You can just pray yes you are praying in faith. Unaweza omba tu ndio labda unaomba kwa imani. But a single doubt in your prayers. Lakini shaka yoyote kwa maombi yako. Unalifies all your prayers. Inasababisha maombi yote yasijibike. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Verse 6 Mstari wa 6. A single but when you ask you must believe and not doubt. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. That is the thing I want us to do in me. Hicho ndicho jambo ambalo nataka tuangalie. Don't doubt whatever you pray from the Lord. Usiwe na shaka kuhusu kitu ambacho unaomba kutoka kwa Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Tell your friend prayer. Ambia rafiki yako maombi. Yes, Mark, eh, this Matthew 7:7 has three things. Katika Mathayo 7:7 inasoma has three things. Iko na mambo matatu. As kuuliza, seek, kutafuta, and knock. Na kubisha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Asking and tells you going before the Lord. Kuomba ni inahusika na wewe kwenda kwa Bwana. Seeking. Have you ever uh, seen someone seeking or uh, Uh, seeking in Swahili is tafut tafte right yeah have you ever seen someone uh, looking for a coin falling in a in somewhere in a grass je ushaiona mtu akitafuta labda shilingi mako kwa nyasi especially mtoto ameangusha tembo kuna hiyo ndio pesa ametumwa kununua chumvi wana asifiwe amen now that's what pray that's what seeking and taking hivyo basi tukizungumzia kuhusu kutafuta tunamaanisha hivyo Bwana asifiwe Hallelujah Ama wanaume mwenye amepoteza remote na iko mpira inaendelea kama ni kwa mpira Anatuanisha vitu sasa Anatuanisha everything atafungua kabati atafungua kafridi Bwana asifiwe Amen That is sikiki Hivyo sasa ni kutafuta That is how we are supposed to be in prayer you go on your knees unaenda kwa magoti yako seeking the presence of god seeking the blessings of god unafuta uwepo na baraka za mungu bwana asifiwe amen iko siku moja nikupoteza kifungu ya nyumba and it is place na mnajua tu mama sio so you got uh, you got Finish the rest of the story. Unaweza kumalizia kijazii. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. The third thing here we are being told knocking. Jambo la tatu tunaambiwa kuhusu kubisha. Prayer, the knocking prayers. Kwa hivyo katika maombi ya kubisha, zile ya kuenda oh baba nisaidie, baba nisaidie. You go with power and force. Unaenda na nguvu na fujo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. You just don't wake up uh, in the middle of the night. 
Hawamuki tu katikati ya usiku. Umenifunika kwa blanketi yako unasema kwamba ni kwa nini? Nao melala. Good bless me, bless me. You go on your knees, pray the Lord. You go deeper with force. Imagine uh, we travel from Nairobi. We may go to the same to go to blood. And we may go to the compound. What do we have to do with the family? People are sleeping in the house that you are supposed to go in. And also the dog is there. And the gate is made for the food. The lango is locked. You see that force in the lango that I am lango. Pack up the two at a hamuka. What does it mean? Amen. That is what we are supposed to do as Christians. He will lead the way in the path that you find to be our Christian. Tell your neighbor, no king with power. Ambia jirani yako kubisha kwa ufu. Wana asifiwe. Amen. The last thing I want us to look uh, about receiving from the Lord. Jambo lingine ambalo nataka tuangalie kuhusu kupokea kutoka kwa Bwana is persist. Ni kuendelea. Do you know this story say at a time a joke like isha like isha Ichoka amepata. Akitoka, amishapa Wala sifiwe That is what us Christians We need to be You persist You persist in prayer In doing good, in fellowship You persist, wala sifiwe Unaendelea, unaendelea Kwa ushirika, unaendelea Until you receive from the Lord Hadi wakati utapokea kutoka kwa wana Wala asifiwe Zeke Corinthians 4 18. It tells us not to lose heart. Don't, uh, don't get weary or faint on the way. Persist in the Lord. Persist in serving. Persist in praying. May you receive the grace to persist in the Lord. To protect the Lord and put us out of our way. Amen. Amen. May we receive the grace to persist in prayers until we are answered. To protect the Lord and put us out of our way. Amen. Amen. Also about persisting, we need endurance. Pia kuhusu kuendelea lazima tuwe watu mtokoma. Hebrews ten thirty six. A lot of people will come on your way. Watu wengi watakuja katika nchi yao. A lot of people will discourage you. Watu wengi watakushusha. They will tell you you are praying, but nothing is happening. Watakambia kwamba unaomba lakini hakuna jambo linatendeka. There is a certain youth who came to me. Kuna kijana fulani aliyenikutia. Akaniambia nakuja kanisa nafanya nini but my parents are really wanakijeni Akamwambia kwamba huwa anakuja kanisani lakini wazazi wake wanamkijeni Wanasema unaenda kanisa na Mungu Bwana akusaidie this and this and this You are coming to church but now why is your God not helping you Bwana asifiwe Hallelujah This thing you may see as a story but it is real Unaweza gani ni hadithi lakini ni ukweli People are rejected Watu Thank God to be called to be found that we with our Father about dealing with this girl. To be called to be found that we are not the only one who brought up Shushu. We just talked and prayed and everything went good. We go to Kaonge to Kaomba and we are fitting our Shushu. You need perseverance so that when you have done the will of the God. With the will of God, you receive what He promised. Give your neighbor high five, tell him or her perseverance. Now we look in the story uh, in Matthew chapter 9 from uh, verse 
we have a church, a certain church, I can't mention it. Mutu badala upeleke maitaji yako kwa mungu. Umeguja to what you are, uh, what you are telling the Lord is risua, 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 risua. Kila pasho na vya mungu ni kugonga mkutu. Kwa You don't say what you do. You don't ask from him. Haulizi kutoka kwa ki. Kwa na asifio. The second thing that makes us not to receive from the Lord. Ja mwana pita mwana sababisha tusipoke kutoka kwa mwana. Is sin and disobedience. Ni ndambi na kutoti. Kwa na esu asifio. Hallelujah. Isaiah 59 verse 1. Sin and disobedience. That we know sin separates us from the Lord. We remember in the creation story, the sin separated God from the first man. And you won't receive from someone you have separated yourself from. But your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that you will not hear. Now, how will you receive from someone who would not want to hear you? Of course you want to receive. So we need to humble ourselves. We need to get out of our sinful nature. To get out of our disobedience. For us to receive from the Lord. Let your neighbor sin and disobedience. Lift your hand and tell the Lord. God, you can point to God and you can point to God. Mungu ni kumbuye kutoka kwa kila dhambi na kutoti. The name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Now we also have the third thing that makes us not to receive from the Lord. Tuko na jambo la tatu ambalo linasababisha tusipoke kutoka kwa Bwana. We just have some evil men and women. Kuna tu watu ambao ni waovu. That are there to block our blessings from the Lord. When I ask you a civil, the witchcraft, the sorcerers, the diviners. When I ask you a civil, but thanks be to Lord because He is freeing us from those people today. When I ask you a civil. Lack of patience in the Lord. Kukosa mumilivu kwa wana. First Samuel 28, 5 to 20. Samuel wa kwanza tano. Lack of patience from the Lord. Kukosa sabune masubra kwa wana. Now, when you want to receive from the Lord, as we have said previously, jinsi tumesema kwa wani, You must persevere and have patience for you to receive. There are things you will ask today. But you won't receive immediately. There are things you will pray this year. But maybe it is the will of God to release them next year. So what should you do as a Christian? You should not, you should not lack patience. Now we see here Saul. Saul was going to war. And when he saw the other army from the Lord, he was afraid. The terror filled his heart. What does he feel? 
He was terrified. What did he do? He went to the Lord. He quieted uh, of the Lord, but the Lord did not answer him. My friends or any of prophets. There are things you ask from the Lord. He won't answer you immediately. But I ask us if you. And when you continue reading that chapter, we, saw, we see lack of patience from Saul. He ended up seeking help from a witch, a witch woman. And the wrath of God was upon him. What do you do when you ask something from the Lord and it doesn't ask immediately? You have come with sickness. You've prayed. You have not seen any change. What do you do? Do you stay back at home? Do you go to plan B? There is a time we were talking about dangers of plan B. Do you go to plan B? Do you wait for the Lord? Do you wait for the Lord? I want us today. To ask the Lord to grant us our desires. I want us today to tell the Lord that God may I receive from you. I want us to pray. I have here some few prayer points I want us to pray. Isaiah 59 verses 9. Isaiah 59 verse 9. I want the second part. We look for light, but all is darkness. For brightness, for brightness, but we walk in deep shadow. Give me Swahili version. Swahili version. Aha. Let me read the whole. Kwa sababu hiyo, hukumu ya haki ikombali nasi. Wala haki haikufiki. Tuatazamia nuru na kumbe tukatokea giza. Tuatazamia mwanga lakini tuwaenda katika giza kufu. Wana sifio. Awa covenant here. Awa eleme tia is a covenant here of rising and shining in the light of the Lord. Maka wetu wa hali ni mwaka wakuinuka na kuangaza katika mwaka. And this is the year we want to receive from the Lord. Na hundi wa mwaka tunatiaka kupokea kutoka kwa mwaka. But how will we receive when there is a lot of darkness in our hearts? Lakini tutapokea aja ikiwa kuna giza katika mwaka. How will we receive when there is no space for the Lord in our hearts? Tutapokea aja ikiwa hakuna nafasi kwa mwaka na mwaka. Kwa mwaka yesu wa sifiwe. Hallelujah. I want us to start and deal with any darkness in our hearts. That blocks us from receiving from the Lord. The darkness of shame. The darkness of fear. Anger. Immorality. Disappointment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want us to go before the Lord this afternoon. Ask the Lord that God will move any darkness.
invested in my heart. I will say that the iniquity in my heart that is making me not to receive from you. God, remove it in my heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone go before the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will say that the iniquity in my heart that is making me not to receive from you.
today to come uh, in front here. You have a burden in your heart. That God today before I get out of this place. I want to receive this and this. Just run in front here we pray together. You have a burden in your heart. You have a family burden. You have a finance burden. May you just come and pray. Isaiah 54 verse 13. Isaiah 54 13. I want these people to also join this, this group. All your children will be taught by the Lord. And great will be their peace. You have a burden that you want peace with your children. There is no peace between you and your children. I want you to join uh, this, this group. A lot of youths have a lot of pain in their hearts. I am there, especially in the church, especially in this church or whatever. I am their youth leader. I understand what I'm saying. There is a lot of pain in the hearts of our children. There is a lot of pain in the hearts of our parents. I want us to pray today that great will be their peace. There will be unity between them and their parents. I, I want you to believe today. You don't believe that you still just go back. But if you are here, I'm sure you want to receive from the Lord. Now just go before the Lord. Go before the Lord. Ask whatever you want from the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ,
Natangaza pokea kwa jina la Yesu. Pokea kile ulichokiomba. Pokea kile ulichomwamini Mungu. Kwa jina la Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Sema amen. Naenda ukijua kwa Baba. Amen. Amen. Imani yako itusaidie. Amen.